What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, Trey, let's get into some MLB picks and props for Sunday, July 30th slate of games. Let's take a look at that leaderboard. Start us off. Yes, at the moment, I am 0-2, actually, and I did not update the graphic as one of my plays just lost. I gave out the tie in the first inning and the under 9.5 total runs in the Twins versus Royals game, and this game sucked for me from the beginning because Bobby Witt Jr. jacked a home run in the bottom of the first, allowing us not to cash the tie in the first inning, which hurt me so bad. And then they just kept scoring runs from that moment. And because the score is 5-6 to six in the sixth inning, so that is 11 runs total, so we are 0-2 now. Yeah, Trey, my game was delayed for about an hour. I have the over nine and a half run score between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. My Washington Nationals put up four runs in the first, one in the fifth. We have six runs total right now after two innings, so it's looking really good for us. Hopefully we go one and oh there, but let's take a look at our plays for tonight, Trey. Start us off. Yes, I'm going to be attacking this Tampa Bay Rays versus Houston Astros game. And originally I was taking the Tampa Bay Rays on the money line because they were throwing out Tyler Glass now. And then as soon as we were about to record, there was a pitching change. So the game is currently not available for me to pick on FanDuel, but I will still th be throwing out a pick for you guys in this game because both these teams find themselves in the heat of the AL wildcard race. And the Rays, they have the number one spot in the wildcard locked up right now with a 63-43 and 43 record, 26-24 and 24 on the road. And the Astros, they have the last wildcard spot locked up with a 58-46 and 46 record, 27-24 and 24 at home this season. But my pick is going to be the Tampa Bay Rays on the money line. And it should be coming out at plus money. So that makes me love this even more. Because they are the better team and have the better hitters in this game. And because Tampa Bay, it looks like they're using this game as a bullpen day. And they're throwing out Zach Littell in this game. And he's pitched in 16 games so far this season. And started in three of those. And he's turned that to an 0-2 record. With a 5.11 ERA paired with a 1.45 whip. But I will say this, though, the Rays do have one of the better bullpens in the MLB. So it might be a good thing that they're using this as a bullpen day for us. And the Houston Astros, they're throwing out Brandon Belock in this game. And he's pitched in 13 games so far this season and started in 12 of those. He's turned that to a 5-5 five and five record with a 3.62 ERA paired with a 1.45 whip. But both these teams should get some run support in this game because the Rays... They're the fourth highest scoring offense in baseball. They average 5.18 runs per game. And the Astros, they have the 12th highest scoring offense in baseball. They average 4.68 runs per game. So give me the better team here and the better hitters on the Rays money line. I love this play. Give me the bullpen day. Yes, let's go. Yeah, try. I like that play as well. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at the Chicago Cubs going up against the St. Louis Cardinals. And I'm going to take a couple bets on this game. The first one's going to be the yes runs first inning between the two teams. This should be the Cubs getting a run early on Steven Matz. The top two hitters for the Cubs uh, at the top of the order have both recorded extra base hits against Steven Matz in just four career plate appearances each. And if Cody Bellinger gets up, he has very good numbers against Steven Matz as well. He has nine official at-bats, one double, a home run, three hits, batting 333 against him. He might find himself a nice ball to hit early in the first inning. So I'm going to play the yes runs first inning in this one specifically for the Cubs. And my second play is going to be the Chicago Cubs on the money line at plus 123. Again, I don't I don't understand how the St. Louis Cardinals are favored in this game. Even with Steve Matz having two decent games in the last two starts, he is coming into this game with a 4.34 ERA, having a 1-7 record on the season. So I don't see the appeal in taking the St. Louis Cardinals at minus anything. On the other side, the Chicago Cubs have Kyle Hendricks, who has been beaten up over the last couple starts. But on the season, he has a 3.45 ERA. He is the more reliable option on the mound in this game. He is not a strikeout pitcher. He lets his defense play. The defense has his back in the field. He doesn't walk a lot of people either. He has 11 walks on the season. I think we are getting a gift with the Cubs on the money line at plus money. So that's where I'm going for my second play. Cubs on the money line and the yes runs first inning in this game. Trey, let's go over to the player prop. Start us off with that leaderboard. Yes, so far I am zero for zero, but I did give out CJ Crone over one and a half total bases and James Paxton over six and a half strikeouts versus the Giants. And Crone, he is one for two so far with a single. So we are halfway there and we just need him to get one more single for us to catch this bet. And I'm actually 0 and 1 because I did just check out James Paxton and he did only end up pitching five innings in this game, mm -hmm. only striking out five batters. So he did not strike out as many batters as I projected. So I need C.J. Crone to get a single or more to go 500. Got to have faith. 
Yeah, Trey, both of my games, again, were delayed. I had the Cubs game. I had the Washington Nationals game. So I have Francisco Lindor over one and a half bases. He did go one for one in his first that bat. He has a single, so looking good there. And then my other one is Adam Wainwright. They're currently in the top of the second. He got out of a jam in the first inning, so maybe Adam Wainwright turned over a new leaf. I don't know yet, but I'm hoping he still goes over two and a half earned runs. But let's take a look at our plays for today. Trey, start us off. Yes, my first one is going to be Nick Castellanos under one and a half total bases versus the Pirates. And Castellanos, he has not enjoyed a great post All Star break in his 14 games so far after the break. He is batting 127 with only seven hits in his 55 at bats. And he's also hitting 169 in the month of July. So he's coming into this game with a lot of negative momentum behind him. And it should continue in this game versus the Pirates because Castellanos is getting a tough matchup in this game versus the old timer in Rich Hill because these two guys actually have a lot of history against each other. And it does bode well in our favor because they faced off in 12 plate appearances. And Castellanos is a massive 0 for 12 against Rich Hill. And he has yet to sniff the base pass whatsoever against Hill. And I would love for that to continue in this game. So give me Nick Castellanos to continue to struggle and go under one and a half total bases versus the Pirates. Yeah, I try to like it for my batting prop tonight. I'm even looking at Ryan McMahon to go over one and a half bases against the Oakland Athletics. We're getting a pretty good pitching matchup as he's going against Luis Medina on the mound. Ryan McMahon is one of my favorite players in the MLB, and he's made me a lot of cash this season. But we just got to make sure to pick and choose when the right time is to take him. Tonight's game is the right time to take him. He has collected six hits over the last five games having three multi-hit games in three of those five games as well. Over the season, Medina has gotten better, but he has still given up 70 hits and 70 innings pitched. This game is going to be in Colorado, so that's already going to put Medina at a disadvantage. And it also helps us that Ryan McMahon has better numbers at home this season. He has 20 extra base hits in his 45 hits at home so far. So when he does put the ball in play nearly half the time, that ball is going to be an extra base hit. I love him to get the best of Luis Medina tomorrow, so I'm going over one and a half bases as my first play for him. Trey? Yes, yeah, so my pitching prop, it's going to be Jose Barrios, over five and a half strikeouts versus the Angels. I am really excited to watch Barrios pitch in this game. And it's the first game on the MLB slate, and you can even watch it on Peacock. So that's how I'm going to be watching it. So shout out Peacock for streaming MLB games. But Barrios, he's been pitching really great for the Blue Jays this season in his nine home starts because he's turned that to a 4-3 and three record with a 2.85 ERA, paired with an impressive 1.11 whip. More importantly for us, though, he does average 6.33 strikeouts per game whenever he is pitching at home, which is over this number. So look for him to come in this game with a ton of confidence in his stuff. And he should be confident because he's going up against this Angels team who absolutely loves to strike out. They strike out the seventh most times in the MLB per game with an average of 9.13 times per game. And with Berrios averaging going six innings deep per home start, it just gives me supreme confidence in him to get at least six strikeouts before he exits this game. So give me Jose Barrios to go over five and a half strikeouts versus the Angels. Yeah, I like that play as well. For my pitching props, it's going to be Blake Snell to go under two and a half earned runs allowed against the Texas Rangers. I've said this a lot about Blake Snell, but this is truly one of the best turnarounds we have seen from a pitcher from the beginning of the season to the middle of the season. Through five games this season, Blake Snell had a 7.88 ERA, and since then he's worked that ERA down all the way to 2.61 and in the month of July, his ERA was 0.67 in four starts. And you may think to yourself, that's a really good month of pitching. But if we go back to June, which is two months ago, in five games in June, he had a 0.87 ERA. So I think it's no debate right now. Blake Snell is the best pitcher in baseball. He's gone six plus innings in seven of his last 10 starts, allowing just five earned runs over those 10 games. The last time he allowed three earned runs was back on May 19th against the Boston Red Sox. He had gone 12 consecutive starts of not giving up over 2.5 runs. And at home this season, he has only given up 17 runs. This will be a tough matchup for him going up against the Texas Rangers, one of the best hitting teams in baseball. But with the trends that he has coming into this game and with the way he's been pitching over the last several months, I have to continue to ride with Blake Snell. Give me his under 2.5 earned runs as my last play. Guys, that'll do it for MLB Player Props and Game Picks for Sunday, July 30th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our Locks of the Week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. 
If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.